What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope it was a great week. Woo, woo, woo. First person's here. What's up? <laughs> All right. So a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of, bunch of stuff is happening. There I am. What is up? Jordan Danger Wilson. Good to see you. There's a second person here. Hello to you as well. Uh, hold on. Wait. I think I got a little, little mood. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> do any uh we don't want to get into any copyright issues with uploading it so just a little bit of music for you guys happy sunday saying what's up all right so what is happening dragon con is at the end of the month i am going to be on like nine different panels so <clears throat> there'll be plenty of time for facetime discussions about sci-fi fantasy the land everything i hope i see you guys there i will be posting my like official panel lists whatever soon but they told us to like hold off because there might be some like last minute switches but uh i will be very accessible and in addition to that we have the third annual lit rpg gala there will be many lit rpg authors there uh myself dakota kraut uh james hunter others i'm not sure who else is coming but i think more people are coming i don't want to like confirm for them until i hear specifically but i hope i see you guys there so that would be awesome <clears throat> all right so let me get some shout outs. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Matt. Jeffrey, good to see you. Zach, yo, yo. Arnie, good to see you. Marquis, nice to see you, dude. Uh, Simon, Emmanuel, Natasha, hello. Alan, what's up? So back to you. Uh, Scott Dawson says, nice moves. Those are the nicest moves. They're misty moves. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jordan says, halfway through the land book. So I'm guessing that's the first one. It gets better from there. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, Brennan says, jump on it. That's what she said. Boom, boom. Uh, Caitlin Weatherford, good to see you. Um, Lee Kirby says his wife was dancing next to him, so I'm glad that I can bring the rhythm because it will come and get you, is what I hear. <laughs> All right, what's up to Greg? What's up to Rich? What's up to Micah? Philip says, bro, I love your stuff. I, I thank you so much for reading it, man. I, I really appreciate it. Jason Holstein, welcome to the land. Welcome to the Facebook Live. What's up? Susie, always good to see you. Angela, hello. Uh, Brennan says, he, <laughs> I've helped him start reading books again. And honestly, that's one of the best, uh, like, um, comments that I can ever, like, get. I know, like, life gets busy, but we all know, like, the love and, like, the, the wonder of the, the published words. So, uh, I'm very honored that, uh, my works could bring you back to the books. So, that's awesome. McCray, what's up? Jen, hey, hey. Drake, what's good to see you? Uh, and, yeah, you got to see the live show. So, there you go. Um, <laughs> Derry says, hope I had a great lunch. I did have a great lunch. I, uh, I had a pastrami sandwich, so it was quite good. Uh, Zach says, hello, for, uh, hello, trucking friends. I'm a big fan, big supporter, big appreciator of the truckers. You guys listen to a lot of my audiobooks, so thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, yes, Misty Moves, Gregory, Brian, what's up? And, oh, you're the one, so Brian is playing Scion in his current D&D group, which is pretty awesome. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to get to some more shout-outs in a second, but, uh, let's see, what can I say? Okay, so boom, mm, awesome Miss Village patches, like, about, like, couple hundred of you guys have ordered those. Thank you very much. They're for sale on the site, litrpg.com. Uh, what else? I am still giving away, I am, people keep asking me, I am giving away the free bumper stickers if you want them. But the number one thing that I would like to ask your help with is um, I, the Predators got uh, nominated for the best fantasy novel, uh, which is awesome. Uh, now, the only downside is we are up against um, people like... Uh, Brandon Sanderson, uh, to name others. So I like 110% need your help. In fact, I'm going to do something that I almost never do. All right, let me get, get rid of that alarm. It's the first thing I'm going to do. Uh, Dragon Con Awards. I'm going to put a link up at the top now um, and say, please, please sign up. It takes like 30 seconds. And um, I really appreciate y'all. And you're absolutely awesome. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Wait, that was not the right link. Here we Dragon Con Awards 2018. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right. So, yeah, I'm putting this link at the top. Uh, really, please, 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 please sign up and you'll get something in the mail where you can vote. And the land could be the best fantasy novel, which would be super duper awesome. Um, all right. So, what else do I need to say? Um, all right. So, uh, as always, working on book eight, as always, working on the other. Um, hold on. Please vote for the. 
Uh, please vote for the land. Best fantasy novel. All right, um, and did save. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> so yeah, working on books, uh, book eight, working on the, the next project. Um, all the plushies are still in the works. They are not cheap. We have not been able to find a very cost-effective way. Um, so we're still looking for the best thing. And honestly, for those of you that want the Alma plushies, we're going to have to do a Kickstarter because like, it just has to be like whether or not people like really, really want it. And if you do, then we want to give them to you. We do. Um, but if there, if there isn't, then we'll just let Alma plushies fall by the wayside, unfortunately. Um, I'm working with more artists. Uh, for those of you that have been waiting, I am finally working with an artist to get a updated Mist Village map going awesome awesome and it will track from the very initial site of seeing the village to going through time as things are built up i.e forge of heaven spoilers uh floss you know a bunch of stuff it's going to be awesome 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 uh so and then it's possible that in the future we may even have like a 3d kind of version so you can walk around in it like sim sim city style so we'll see we'll see i, I want to I, I want to do these things. I, I absolutely love and appreciate you guys. So I just want you to know I'm working on it. Okay. Uh, let me go back. All right. Kyle says, love your energy. I really appreciate it. And it, dude, if you are on book six, you are in a treat for seven because it was definitely my best work. So I hope you enjoy that too. And if you're doing the audio, it's 47 hours long and we broke audible. That's what we did. All right. Andrew, what's up? Vincent. Woo. Miss Village. I agree. Stuart Wright says it gets better from there. Not from Richard's perspective. That could be true. Uh, Tim says, Predators is amazing. I really do appreciate it, sir. Uh, please keep reading. Chris says, how's the life? The life is good. You know, I'm, I'm living the Southern life, uh, margaritas and sunshine and writing books. So, I mean, I'm, I'm blessed. I, I absolutely love it. All right. Don says, um, yes, I know. It, uh, the, the hospital can take quite a toll. But luckily, no one's been commenting on my horrible bags. So, I feel like those are improving. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Sam Colwell says, when is book eight due? I am hoping for a uh, release by the end of the year, possibly even two releases by the end of the year, depending on how the writing gods favor me. Um, but I will definitely keep you updated. Um, no, nothing's really ready to be shared yet, but uh, I'm having a good time writing it. And I hope that you guys will one day have a good time reading it. So that's awesome. Um, Greg says he listens to the books at work. I, hey, man, if it makes the day go faster. Shout out to Damian Perry, one of the moderators that keeps the literature G Lit RPG, I should be able to say that, right? Community going strong and awesome. Shout out to that guy. Um, let's see. Uh, Chris says he loves my uh, books. I'm glad they're on Audible. It makes the work less worky. Uh, again, uh, I couldn't, I never expected to be able to reach out to so many awesome people. I am absolutely blessed that I have been able to. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I appreciate it. Uh, what's up, Sean? Good to see you, dude. Hunter, <clears throat> it is going well. And like I said, I'm hoping for a release by the end of the year. Um, Alex just ordered his own Miss Village shirt. Yes, so uh, awesome. That'll be coming soon. And it is. And just so I clear, like I, it's not some BS crappy T-shirt that you're gonna wear twice. Like these are LAT best on the market. You will have it forever. These are awesome shirts. They look quite stylish. They get you laid. Everybody knows that. <laughs> uh, anybody that's coming to Dragon Con, please rock your Miss Village gear so we can all take like a, a picture together and whatnot. And anyone that's coming, um, especially people that are part of my street team, please let me know. Please message me because I would absolutely love a little bit of help, a little bit of love uh, to keep things going because there's going to be like a bunch of giveaways for people that are at Dragon Con and for people that aren't. I'm going to be giving, like, you know, just giving away bracelets for days, uh, give, you know, signed books, t-shirts, everything you can say. We have a table set up for merch for people that want more stuff. So uh, that's going to be awesome. But yeah, please let me know. Please let me know. And please rock your Miss Village gear if you're coming down because I would love to see it. All right. Um, and Lee Kirby says, how do you get a bumper sticker? If you want a bumper sticker, uh, email me, richter at litrpg.com. R-I-C-H-T-E-R. -E it's also like all over the page <laughs> and you can uh, just get one and i saw all these things on my on my uh on my site you know like whatever the, the coolest latest thing that's been flying off is this you know silver gold and copper thread patches these things are freaking awesome uh so i'm glad that i bought some because like that the box is half gone and it's been like a week uh but anyway i'm glad that you guys are uh, i'm glad that you guys are enjoying them but yeah just email me and i'll give you a free bumper sticker but if you buy them on the site um all the money you, the five dollars goes to charity so either way you know aleron loves charity all right so susie says i was gonna write a thank you note evan is at a bad time mm, i'm very sorry that evan's still having a, a hard time uh and i am happy that the audio has helped susie so blessings um, okay. Tim says, yeah, predators, yeah, predators. 
Uh, Ron Russell says, listening to book seven, I'm glad that you do. Yeah, Nick Poldell is amazing. I'm blessed to be able to work with a guy. He's also just a really, really, really cool dude. Uh, so yeah, uh, me and Nick for life, besties, hashtag. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, so yeah, no, your Miss Village merch is going to be going out probably manana. Uh, I'm working to uh, talk to the FedEx guy, but it is coming, Sean. It is coming, definitely. Um, Matthew says, already done. I appreciate it. Um, and Susie, I appreciate you registering. Shout out to my uncle, Koichi Jenkins. Koichi Jenkins. Um, uh, love that guy. <laughs> uh, Jordan says, I will. Thank you. Uh, what's up, John Mazua? Good to see you as always, sir. Matthew, he says, reread all the books. Thank you. Thank you very much. So apparently, this is awesome. So um, I re people like rereading uh, the books, which I, which I really appreciate. Um, like, uh, definitely helps and definitely like spreading the word. And, um, you know, I, it, it never occurred to me that I would be the kind of person where you would like reread the books. I've definitely done that. Like while I'm like complaining that the next one isn't out or that like, you know, there's not another series like it. So, um, thank you. I very, I'm very honored. I just want to let you guys know that how much I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so Gergi says, I bet that would be crazy to beat out Sanderson because he is my fave author. He is my fave author. It does not mean I will not drink from his skull. Okay, but uh, love you. Love you, Brando. For legal purposes, that was not an actual threat. Okay. <laughs> uh, Brian says, he says, uh, needs a bumper ticket that says Sprites Rock. Okay, so everyone hit uh, Brian Holbrook with rocks, please. Okay. Also, for legal purposes, that was not a threat. Okay. <laughs> uh, Emmanuel says, I'm sharply RN. My birthday is in six days. Uh, happy, happy early birthday. Happy early, catch me on the next one and you get some cool stuff. Uh, and hello, uncle. Good to see you. And Scorch Your Mama. Very much appreciate it. I responded to you earlier. Thank you. Uh, Jeffrey says, yeah, so um, for you guys, again, please uh, sign up to vote. The link is at the top of the, uh, it should be, I've never done this before, but uh, it should be at the top of this uh, post right now. And basically they have you sign up to vote and they send you a ballot like um, on Tuesday. So uh, please sign up to vote, please. Uh, best fantasy novel. Predators, we can do it. Woo, that would be awesome. Oh my God, it'd be super awesome. Uh, and you guys are awesome either way, but I would very much appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Mike, good to see you, sir. Tia, been a while. Good to see you. Um, and I'm glad that you enjoyed it. That was definitely not a cliffhanger. That was a cave hanger at, at, at the very most. So uh, I hope that you, <laughs> I hope you get it. And Mike still wants to be Sergeant of the Guard. I know, no spoilers, but it is a very sad day. Uh, Chad Bachman says, I want them for a daughter. I know, Alma Plushies, we want them. And again, we're looking for a very, 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 like, you know, the best, lowest price that, you know, doesn't cause some sort of horrible respiratory illness because it has bad materials. So we're finding safety with, you know, security and low cost. And um, when we find that, um, basically my plan is to, like, share the mock-up to see if you guys really like it. And if people like it after we found like a good company, then we'll do the Kickstarter. And if it works out, great. And if it doesn't, well, we, we gave it a shot. And that's, that is what's happening in an Alma plushy world. Okay, um, recaps, yeah, it's so annoying. All right, I hope you guys can see me. All right, so yes, uh, still have more bumper stickers. They are free. You just have to uh, message me your address or email me your address at richter at litrpg.com. The patches are absolutely awesome. Three types of metallic thread. Super loot. And those are on the store like everything else. Oh, a lot of people have been asking me like, hey, where's this piece of art? Hey, where's that piece of art? And all the art is on the, is on the site. Just go to litrpg.com and you click on artwork and you'll be able to see all the art that I've made so far. Um, and we have more coming. Uh, a lot more coming, actually. I've been able to contact some really, really cool artists, including the Miss Village map. So, uh, yeah, just letting you know that. All right, uh, so Kyle says, hell yeah. Alex, what's up? Good to see you. And Jordan said, yeah, you are. If you're in the middle of book one, you are very new. Uh, we do not allow spoilers, so don't worry. We're not going to ruin it for you. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be absolutely awesome. Ron also says, roll D20 mapping with dynamic lighting. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. If that is like a thing that I should know about, uh, just shoot me a link on a PM because I'm always interested in learning cool stuff. Um, and Chad Bachman says he wants the first map first. I will let you know when it comes out, but this is gonna, the Miss Village map, while I will have obviously um, some paper copies if you guys if you guys want them, it's more gonna be like just this really cool idea that I've been having from the beginning where I can put like links as people go in and like you, as you're reading the book, you like click the link and then you get to see that snapshot. So in book one, you see it initially and in book five, blah, 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 as, uh, as things happen. Uh, Cause I always said that just be really, really fun and I really appreciate y'all. So I'm working on that. Hopefully we can get it done soon and I will let you know. Okay. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. 
Um, try so yes, Chris Cota says try to get Critical Role to help. I have reached out to Critical Role, I want to say literally 15 times, to be like, hey, you guys are cool, and I'm cool, let's make this happen. Uh, and they've been like, no. I mean, they haven't said no, but I feel the no in my heart because there's no response. Uh, so if anyone works for Critical Role or knows Critical Role or is sleeping with a member of Critical Role, uh, send them my way. Uh, same with Netflix. Again, we do this every time. Netflix, very little shame. Come on down. Let's make it happen. Also, got a little love for you, Amazon, obviously. And, uh, you know, Hulu, whatever. Boom. HBO. Knock it out the park. Uh, Khaleesi, much love. One love. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Miss Village Game. Also on the to-do list, but again, it's like back here because like I'm working on the books and I'm trying to make things happen and Dragon Con's happening and Dragon Con is in my backyard. So it's kind of like the show, you know? So I hope I do see a lot of you guys there because I'm going to be on like hella like panels and hella uh, stuff like that. And the third annual Lit RPG Gala is happening. And for those of you that went to the first two, you realize that Alaron loves buying shots because he comes with the free. So I hope that you like it. And Sean Bradley, thank you for noticing my fresh trim. And you know what? I did that myself. I have cut my hair by myself for the last five years. And then I edged it up with a Mach 3 because that's the kind of man that I am. The kind of man that builds the Eiffel Tower. That's what I, that's the kind of man I am. All right, shout out to Justin Barber, another one of our moderators that is here. Welcome. Uh, Cameron McDonald says, love a game. I would love a game too. Miss Village Civ game. Oh, I'm not going to let you know what's happening, but something's happening. Yes, I know. Miss Village Civ game would be the coolest thing of all time, obviously. But, you know, maybe one day we will make the game. Maybe one day, you know, the secret VR people that already have direct simulation, because I know you're out there, um, will release it and we'll be able to create this kind of thing within our lifetime, which would be super duper cool. Uh, one day, let's keep going. But for now, you guys really, really do help by like leaving reviews. You really, really do help by like spreading the word because as you may or may not know, I am an indie author. I do not have big brother publishing company behind me. It's just me and it's just y'all. So like when you guys leave a review and when you like, you know, say nice things and you like turn your friends onto it, 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 it makes the world a difference because um, I mean, I was came out of obscurity less than three years ago. Um, and because of you, like book one has 1900 reviews now, which is insane for an indie author. Uh, book one audio has over 10,000 reviews, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so, I mean, I try to let you guys know, like really, really like how humbled I am by your awesomeness and your support. And it means the world to me. Um, so if you want to make the land a series and if you want to make the land a game, um, well, obviously, like, if you're a game developer or a Netflix person, like, just get off your ass and call me. <laughs> but if you are a uh, normal human being such as myself, um, please just keep doing what you're doing because it makes the world a difference. And one day, people will be like, oh, look, there's nice reviews here. We, we'll take a chance on him. So that, that would be awesome. Thank you. All right. Um, Angela says, your brother's hooked. I am glad. You should hold your future knowledge over him and, like, drop little tidbits and when he doesn't want you when he doesn't do what you want him to do that's that's how he is um alex baldano says the hearth mother is a chaos seed no i'm not co-signing that i am not co-signing that okay uh justin carlisle good to see you sir nice uh ryan says hey oh hey oh back <laughs> ron Russell says if you're having a good time writing them it's coming through in the writing i am and and you know i always tell like new writers that when they ask me i'm like if the number, the best advice I can give is that if you write something that you would want to read and you have fun doing it, like people are going to feel that the same way you can like hear someone that's smiling when you're on the phone with them. Um, but yeah, I, I'm glad it does come through. I really appreciate that. Iron Jones, what's up? Good to see you. And Jordan says, I can't find your giveaway on that site. If you're talking about the link that I put on this particular post, that is a application for Dragon Con. And then when you sign up, um, they send you a confirmation email to make sure you're not a bot. And then they'll send you the applicant. They'll send you the ballot like on like Tuesday or Thursday is, is the way it's supposed to work. Um, so yeah, I don't know why there's so many steps, but that is the way it is. And I would greatly appreciate any help. So thank you. Um, and Justin Collins says he wish you could make a dragon. Con. I wish you could too. Jason Dimmick says gnomes rule. Hell they, hell they rule. Good to see you. Um, Amber Hodges. Hello. Good to see you. Brandon Brady says, is it possible to come to the future Steel City Con in Pittsburgh, PA? I used to live in York, PA, which not a lot of people know, but now you do. I went to Indian Rock Dam Elementary School. 
Uh, I was gonna do like, but I have no idea what the <laughs> what the mascot is, or even if elementary schools have mascots, really. But maybe I could absolutely come. Um, so I'm always doing a thousand things. So like, yeah, anyone that wants me to come to a con or whatever, just message me. And if it fits in the schedule, then I would love to make it up there. Um, and that's if they accept me, because <laughs> not every con will. Um, so uh, yeah, that, that's that's the way it works. Uh, Amber Hodge is going to throw me in a dungeon. What did I do, Amber? No, that's not cool. <laughs> um, Wale, good to see you, sir. Gregory says, uh, Brandon, would be sick for him? Yeah, I would. I, it would be sick. Super cool. Yeah, Amber, get him. Get him. All right, um, and so Marquis says, am I bringing Nick to Dragon Con? I have had this argument with Nick for a year. I'm like, Nick, people love you. You're amazing. You're the best narrator in the business. And he's like, oh, nobody's going to want to see me. Nobody's going to care about me. And I'm like, dude, you're crazy. You are crazy. And I've been trying to convince him to come to these cons because I'm like, people would love it, especially if you did the voices, right? Um, I think we can all co-sign that. So he's not listening. He never listens. Um, but I'm going to tell him that people are asking because more people have been asking because it would be super awesome to like hear the voice of both Quoth and Richter. I mean, I think that'd be pretty cool. What if he was able to have a fight with himself using the voices? Come on. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right. So we'll get it. All right. Uh, Brandon Llewellyn says, wonderful book. I really appreciate it. I really do. Please leave a review for, oh yeah. And everyone, the reason I always ask is like, so I appreciate the reviews on all of them and they make a huge difference. And, you know, book seven's only been out for a couple of months and it's almost got 2000 reviews, which is insane. So thank you. Um, but like, just like all of you guys, if you were starting the book for the first time, you're looking at book one. So uh, please leave a review for the book one ebook because it's sort of the gateway. It's what gets more people on. Um, but thank you for reading and thank you for everything else. Uh, Sean says he's read it six times. You might know it better than me, which is hilarious because I mean, real talk, like I love my world and I love my stories, but like I've been writing them consistently. So I've, I haven't been able to reread like book two in like two years and I keep meaning to do it to really get like reimmersed and everything. Cause like I've got reference documents and everything else like that. But like sometimes like you guys really call me on it and I'm like, Oh, tr true that, true that, that, that is the way that works. So yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, Arnie says, you got about 10 friends. That's good. That's good. Let's get the 11th. I appreciate you, Arnie. Thank you. And Brandon Sanderson is awesome, Mike. He, he absolutely is. Uh, and Sean, you are... God damn that alarm. Okay. <laughs> What's up? Joe Aguilar, good to see you again, dude. Uh, Chad Bachman says, reread the books. I, I appreciate it. Um, and he's also read Ready Player One 14 times. Damn, that is some serious rereading. Okay. Uh, Dallas Jones, what up? Uh, shout out to Ramon Mejia. I believe he's also coming at Dragon Con. I didn't want to speak for him, but I believe he is. So shout out to that guy. He's been around in the lit RPG group since it was like literally a hundred of us or like, he's like, yeah, like back when like it was just a twinkle in our eye. Um, and it is now almost 10,000 people deep, which is, which is kind of crazy. Uh, so that's cool. Um, and Justin says he hates that Facebook live is a mirror. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm sexy from either side, man. So I don't, I don't really know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Chris Pacheco, uh, Pacheco, Pacheco says, "Get land license plate." You know, honestly, that was that just occurred to me. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think I am gonna like look into like getting some novelty license plates, provided again they you know won't break the bank. Um, but if I do, I will announce them and put them on the site and sell them like everything else. Because yeah, so like, the question is like, would it be gnome's rule? Would it be uh, like you know mist for life? Uh, would it be Star Zinnia? Yeah. You know, we have to sort of come up with what the, <laughs> with what the quote would be. Uh, so uh, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, so Steven, uh, so Stephorn, Aristar Bun, right on, uh, is asking if I'm going to make the land tabletop game. So yes, that is definitely on to-do list, but again, it's just little me holding down the fort, uh, making everything happen. So, um, you know, it's, I, I mean, I don't even have time for cups. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, one day, but uh, not yet, so hopefully. All right. <laughs> now, Susie, always good to see you. Andrea Wage, hello, good to see you. Um, is Miss Village going to get a banner in the books? Uh, spoiler, but yes, yes, they are. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, and so, uh, Mike Hodges asking, was Tom, Tom Morlin, uh, Merlin from The Wheel of Time my inspiration for Randy? No, um, uh, my inspiration for Randy is actually uh, this really wise dude that I know named Randy. Uh, and I like showed him the first book and he was like, yeah, I'm very flattered, but um, you basically put me in charge of toilets. 
so uh, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> and I was like, no, no, he's going to get much more awesome. But no, no, I know a Randy in real life, and that is who Randy is based on. So there you go. Um, all right, Derry says she's rereading, re-listening. Thank you very much. Uh, David Paul McQuaw, uh, yeah, says that would be wicked. Um, yeah, no, that is going to be super wicked because I've been wanting to do the maps, obviously, from day one, but, um, you know, like life and whatever uh, got in the way. And also, I, I just hadn't found a, um, a map artist. I literally spent, like, a solid day scouring the internet until I found, like, someone that, like, I thought, like, might really, really work well. Um, and hopefully, we'll be getting the first of those soon and then, you know, the reworks and everything else like that. Um, so, so we'll see, uh, cause I think it could be a really awesome project. Um, but yeah. Okay. Um, so Alex says, I'm sure you've been asked a thousand times, what are my favorite RPGs? Um, so like, you know, I played like almost all the RPGs growing up. I mean, I felt like, um, the original Warcraft, not the online thing was like the greatest thing that I ever played 20 years ago. Um, Baldur's Gate. Awesome. Temple of Elemental Evil is in my opinion, uh, the best D and D game ever created. Um, certainly with the, like, you know, the wheeled interface, which is awesome, but I've always been more of a strategy game, so, like, Civ Four is the greatest game of all time, um, though, you know, obviously I've enjoyed, like, you know, some shooters in Halo, the pistol in one, hate that they dumbed it down for the future ones, and, uh, yeah, uh, also, uh, you know, obviously, like, you know, Diablo and some, and some other, like, you know, old school ones where it was just, like, you as a character, like, fighting the world, um, I think there was, like, really, really cool stuff. I think there was a lot of, like, craft that went into it. I feel like uh, a lot of video games sort of went the same way as a lot of movies. I mean, obviously, the original Job of the Hut was insanely awesome. Um, probably very difficult and very expensive to both create and move, but it looked so much better than the CGI stuff, right? Uh, some of those games back in the day were legit, um, and we didn't know what good graphics were, so it looked real at the time. Um yeah, so, like, I basically just grew up, like, playing all of them. Uh, but, yeah, greatest game of all time is still Civ Four. Shout out to my boy Zapra, who did the Rise of Mankind mod, because it's absolutely awesome. Yeah. All right. Um, and Stuart's asking if it goes, if Alma Plushy goes to Kickstarter, what are the stretch goals? Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so I guess that we could do a stretch goal that, like, I'm guessing that means, like, if we went way beyond whatever we were going to raise, yeah, I'd put a, I'd put a, a, a raw voice box, you know, in fact, I'd have Nick record something and do a little MP3 thing in there if we made enough money, um, yeah, so, I mean, we'll see, we'll see, I mean, if there's enough interest for the Alma plushies, the sky's the limit, because she flies, see what I did there? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so Jordan says this is going to be awesome. Sherry's to watch. Hell yeah, it would. Uh, so Gregory says Netflix show would be great. I know. And they're investing in all sorts of content. So hopefully. Uh, Justin says uh, whoever says Gnome's rule should end up being a companion. I feel that. Um, and let's see. Chris says we should. I, I should play with their D&D one shot with our crew. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I will do that. Maybe that will be like a giveaway to D&D it up somewhere in the world. It would be the land. That's how we do it. Uh, James Kirsten says, love the books. I really appreciate that, James. Thank you. And yeah, I love uh, Village Girl because like I said, Civ 4 is the greatest game of all time. Okay. <laughs> um, and Jordan says he found me through the high rating audio. So, see, I mean, that's right there. So Jordan is new to the land. This is his first time here. And he found me because you guys who have been here longer left reviews, which is awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Please keep leaving reviews and please keep telling friends. Um, and Sean Bradley says, everyone knows that the even numbered Civ games are the best. They absolutely are. And I'll fight you if you say otherwise. Because, uh, yeah, that's, no. Everybody knows the even ones are the best. Okay. <laughs> Though, you know, they kind of like pandered a little bit with Six. It's just not the same. I mean, it was, it was kind of cool, but eh, I, 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 I don't know. Okay. Um, so Justin Lee says he's read thousands of books and my series is a favorite. Thank you very much, Justin Lee. Uh, and yeah, no, I give it my all. It drives me crazy sometimes. It's true love, which means sometimes I want to light it on fire, but, uh, yeah, awesome. <laughs> so please keep reading, please leave a review and please tell your friends. Yes. And I'm glad that you're a fan for life because I plan on writing for life. So I hope you keep doing it. Uh, oh, <clears throat> let me take a second again. <clears throat> if you guys are just hop hopping on, please click the link at the top of this post it's for Dragon, uh, Dragon Con Awards because uh, The Land Predators was nominated for the best fantasy novel. So please register and then the ballot will come on like Tuesday and you can vote. But I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Justin Sable says Nick is a beast. Yes, he is. Um, Mike says he's at a drill and he has to get back. Dude, I'm so happy that you were here. 
Um, and no, I said I know I know an actual Randy. So no, Tom Moreland was not, Merlin was not the uh, thing. Um, Iron Jones says he would love to have Nick. I'm going to tell Nick that because Nick needs to come and hang out with us because he's an awesome guy. He will be there next year. It's going to happen. Uh huh. Mm, 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 mm. It's so good when it hits your lips. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody spam Nick. Yes, we will do it. Camilla Richards, hello, moderator. I'm glad you're here. Luke Martinez, what's up? Um, all right, so you almost missed it, but you made it here, so welcome. Uh, and I know, I would. I want to meet, you know, because Nick and I have never met face-to-face. -face. We've been talking and joking and making fun of each other for years, and we still haven't met face-to-face, -face, so we will one day. All right, um, Elizabeth Cummings says, is Ro Rose Swan Ron Swan? Who's Ron Swanson? Anyway, all right, moving on. All right, uh, Luke Martinez says, book eight, though. No, we're working on it. I'm hoping for a release by the end of the year. Um, let's see. Uh, he didn't say which book, only they were getting a banner. Yeah, so that is a, it is a spoiler. All right, um, let's see. Sue Rice says, why not release some of the game notes for the land to a select few? They can work. So, I mean, the thing is, it's like I want to, but, like, I'm very um, – I don't know how the rules work, right? So like uh, the land is like, is my baby. It's it's my most precious thing that I've created. So um, uh, some people might call that a control freak. <laughs> but yeah, I like to really be like, you know, hands on in, in whatever's going. So it will happen. And, you know, um, I have a wonderful assistant that helps me with some things. But maybe when I get, and maybe when I get like an agent and whatnot, uh, you know, that will make it easier for me to like compartmentalize or, delegate or whatever but for right now no i'm just i'm i'm very very hands-on yeah <laughs> all right uh so iron jones says try civ 5 before i say like I, like i haven't tried civ 5 man i mean i mean c come on you know i i've played like that that random civ game where like it, it took you to a split screen when you, when you, i mean I, i've done it all I mean, get out of here i mean what, what, what's happening right now i don't i don't understand all right uh <laughs> vanessa jones says what is true love Says that's what true love really is. Oh, I thought you were asking me, but yes, yes. Um, so, and Mike says, is it cumulative? If I donate 50 times at a time, five times, will I get a character in the book? No, no, no. It is so the Patreon rewards are you do the month and and then and that and that, that's what happens. So, yeah. Um, so, Jacob says, how are the margaritas? And they're perfect. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Alex, I'm glad that you made it. What's up? Uh, oh my God, I caught up. Woo, that never happens. All right, so <laughs> Jessica Susan says there's no way that Ron Swan wasn't based off. Who the fuck is Ron Swanson? Uh, anyway, all right. Um, how would you feel if the book series gets as big as Lord of the Rings? Um, really good. I'd feel really good about that. That'd be awesome. Uh, <laughs> um, and Nick Anderson. Oh yes, I was. Nobody did it yet. I was hoping somebody would. Nick Anderson asked a spoiler alert, guys. So what do we do with that? What do we do with the spoiler? He's at, he wants to know who. Who says gnomes rule? Is there anybody here that can help me out with a spoiler spoiler question? Anybody, anybody, come on, come on, come on, say it, do it, somebody. Popcorn, yes, we do the popcorn, yes. De depleted uranium popcorn, mm. Points for creativity, Iron, well done. So yes, no spoilers, unfortunately, sir. No spoilers. <laughs> Darcy, I am so happy you made it because we are now about to tie this up. Uh, all right, so recap, as always, still have the Miss Bilge bumper stickers that you can put on your car or, you know, the bathroom at work or your laptop or whatever. Uh, we have these, I've got like a, some of these awesome things up there. Like it took me like literally two hours to do all the orders for these, but they are awesome sauce. Uh, Dragon Con, I'm at like nine different panels. I'm going to post up like probably in like a week or two when I have the final list, exactly what's coming. Please let me know if you're coming to Dragon Con, especially if you're willing to help on the street team. The third annual Lit RPG Gala is happening uh, Saturday from noon to two, which is like literally one block away. So we found a place that you can walk to and from Dragon Con. And uh, yeah, so as always, I'm so very appreciative for what you guys do. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, much love. Oh, please click on the link to vote for the, uh, to register for the Dragon Con, uh, book awards because the land predators could be win as best, uh, best fantasy novel. So you guys rock. Oh, and of course, Iron Jones says, well, I give a shout out to his daughter, Penelope. Shout out to you, Penelope. You got an awesome dad. Study hard. 
all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got a smaller sticker too. So uh, just message me about that smaller sticker, Jordan, and I'll send it to you. And if anybody wants me to come to a con, message me. All right, I got to get out of here, not just because my mouth feels like sand. So much love, peace, love, perfect margarita. Thank you. Bye, guys.